Bank. It's a very big honor for me to have at the other end of my Skype line one of the people that I admire and love uh, in terms of being the one who has expressed my feelings over the years with your music. Thank you Thank for you. That. Thank you for being who you are and for sharing your music with the world. Thank you. Thank you. Esa Holopainen from uh, Amorphis, but the reason we are here today is Silver Lake, a personal project. <clears throat> Esa Holopainen, Silver Lake, to be exact. It's about to be released on May 28th. Mm -hmm. and, um, I think it's the best thing to do considering the heat is up and a silver lake should be very refreshing from what I'm hearing so far. Um, let's begin by your need to create something of your own, a personal project. Yeah, it was uh, pretty much the, the whole corona and the pandemic situation start this project um all the shows from amorphis got cancelled obviously and a uh, good friend of mine who is running studio here nearby he's he i talked with him and and he was suggesting that or asking if i would be interested of, of doing my own solo album as as now i have the the time and that's pretty much how it got started and pretty much the reason why I started it because I, I didn't want to waste a year without basically doing nothing. I knew that at some point we started to work with next Amorphis album, but but overall, you know, when you see your that your calendar is is, is totally empty, it, it was uh, pretty frustrating. So so it was a really really good good time to start to focus on this project. Um, tell me about the differences in your personal project than the music you create with the band. I mean, how come the, the sort of music that's in your personal project can be an amorphous song, for example? <clears throat> um, I really didn't think that much of, uh, of, of when, I, when I wrote the songs about any of like amorphous sessions. I, I, pretty much started to do the songs based on based on the vocalists that are on this album and mm -hmm. got inspired from there and overall i think there is a lot of musical uh, um, influences and nuances that that i wouldn't necessarily put on amorphous songs mm -hmm. and that that's the way pretty much i wanted to keep this project because uh, I, I don't see any point of doing a solo project or different kind of project if it would be too similar to, to the amorphous work so so uh, yeah great, great session with a with a great musicians and vocalists and, and it was really much fun to to create something totally different would you say that the melodies and the songs that you created for Sil silver lake are more uh, personal are you revealing a part of yourself we haven't experienced yet um in the way it's it's of course it's personal because it's it's my own project and i was pretty much responsibility with with everything when it comes to the music and and the product but um in, in that way it's of course it's personal but of course when you put out a morphis album and and your soul and your effort to to the band it's pretty much the same feeling it's it's uh it's 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 as much as as uh, personal as I guess as as in a way as this project as well. So, but it's it's uh, you know all, the time will tell how how the songs are going to live. And and now, you know, when I finish the Silver Lake album, it's it's it was a great great um, great relief for me to 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 give the songs for the wider audience to people. And now the, the album sort of starts to live on its own life and. And that that's probably the greatest thing. Of 
with extraordinary voices and extraordinary talent. I mean, and their range is so diverse. It's like you you're creating a painting with their voices. Uh, how did they inspire you? Did you choose them? They chose you? Was it something that came out of your personal relationships with them? Uh, pretty, pretty much that's how it started. Um, I started to check who I know, who I would really love to have on this album. And the first three songs I already had uh, when, I, when, I, when I started to do this project. And I was start, starting to think about who who might be the right vocalist for each track and, and, and yeah, and who I know. Um, Jonas, Björn and Einar were pretty much the, the, the guys that I really wanted at the first place. And I was super happy that they, they, they all liked the song, what I sent to them. Uh, there were some musical uh, elements in those songs, but I thought that they, they probably would like to 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 or they they would probably go into and 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 get influenced by and in the, in the way I was writing that and they they all enjoyed the songs and and did amazing work with the with the with the vocals so from that point I started to think a little bit more bigger picture uh, where I'm heading with the whole album and I started to think about the vocalist who I would like to have for this album and and. Uh, that's it, how it pretty much went. Uh, I was really inspired by all the vocalists, and my main point was to to tr sort of try to find the nuances and the little details what I love about these vocalists in their own music, and try to write music based on that. Um, there were two vocalists, um, Hawk and Vesa Mattiloiri, the Finnish Finnish artist, who came along during the process, and and those two guys I haven't met before. All the other vocalists on this album are my, my good friends from, from the past. I read in uh, the press release uh, that accompanied the, the new, the, your debut solo album, that you're not interested into creating, being a guitarist, no. some might say that you would like to release some songs displaying how good a guitarist you are, like <clears> most <throat> artists with their personal projects but you say that you don't want to do that no um probably because i don't really listen myself instrumental music um i i do like some instrumental music like score music and so on but i'm not that big fan of of guitar players album because it's usually um the songs are pretty technical um there is not like a proper arrangements and you usually forget what's happening after two songs. So that's that's really not, not, not my cup of tea. Mm, of course, I, I really respect like the highly technical guitar players, but I, uh, you know, I, I don't get anything from from those kind of, of albums. Um, I wanted to write an album. I wanted to write music, but I would enjoy to listen myself. And uh, as funny as it sounds, but I, I really enjoyed most on this album. I didn't put that much guitars on there, and we could play with the dynamics and and with the with the, with the different instruments. So um, that was a great pleasure for me, and uh, definitely something that I wanted to do. Because, uh, for example, with Amorphis, I'm I'm playing guitar all the time. It is like a constant playing all the songs through. And this time I, I really didn't want to get rid of that, but I wanted to have like a total freedom of, of doing things like not to play if I don't want to, if I don't feel like, and if it doesn't fit and, and so on. So, oh yeah. Can this project come to live in a live show with all these uh, diverse uh, singers? Ah, uh, that that would be great, great idea. But um, I don't know how realistic that that would be. Um, all the all the vocalists are really busy with their own bands and with their own music. And I guess when when we go back to the normal life and and uh, we're able to tour again, I think everybody are going to be super busy. And and a project like this would be pretty hard to arrange. But but it, it's. Uh, 
it's an idea, a little dream that I would like to do at some some day, somehow. And and I, so I, I don't say no, but it's it's going to be a bit tricky. Probably in a festival, if you're all playing together. Yeah, that's that's probably the only way to do it. Many songs I like, and each song was its own task, and and I have I have good feelings with every song. But if I could have to mention one, I think it would be the Finnish title song Alkusointu, because having Vesa Mattiloiru, this Finnish actor, uh, appearing on my album and this song was was uh, was a big thing for me, and and uh, I think musically that song really presents really well what I was really aiming. Aiming music-wise to to achieve with the, with this album. Could there be a second album? Is it something that you did once, or are you planning to continuing to express yourself through Silver Lake? Uh, absolutely. I, I I'm pretty sure I start to write another album at some point. But like now, I I had six month period that I just concentrated on this album and. Having such long time, I don't know. I don't know when I, I will have that, that much time to focus on on anything else uh, when we start the tour. But I think I start to write new album little by little, song by song, and 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 release it at some point. But it, this was really good and great experience for me. So and I'm really really happy how the album turned out. So I'm I'm pretty sure I will do another, at least another one. Would you use a singer outside the genre of heavy metal? I mean, maybe a pop singer? Absolutely, absolutely. And everything is, is open with this project. And, 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 uh, and I will definitely keep my mind open and, and, and really don't care in which, which scene the, the singer is coming from. Like for this, this album, for example, all the musicians I have, I have there, they they really don't have any metal background at all, and and they they were just managed to do everything perfectly, and, uh, and that, that's the great thing about the projects. You you uh, you can meet people from from different territory and and, and different musical background. And still, you know, aiming for the for the same thing. Which that's that's one of the greatest things about this. Has it given you fuel for and thoughts about the the new amorphous? Have you have you come across a particular pattern or a melody, something that came to mind, and you said, "Oops, that should be in an, in the next amorphous or something." <laughs> uh, not necessarily in that way, but um, but I think you know. When I already was in good writing mode, uh, doing Silver Lake, and I pretty much jumped immediately to Amorphis session after this one. Um, I really, you know, I didn't have any lack of motivation. You know, I was I was straight into the writing mode when I started to work with Amorphis songs. So in that way, it, it really helped. Like usually you have to wait for the inspiration. It, it, it might take quite a while until you feel feel that you start to write uh, new music. Uh, but after after this project, you know, it, it, it really felt natural to just continue writing music and new music. And in that way, it helped me a lot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have you had any feedback so far by the two singles that are out? Storm and Rain Yes. Love? Yes, I have. Um, really good, but I was in a way expecting because I knew that those two singers are are really good, and the songs we made became really really catchy. So I was I was uh, 
I was about to expect that people might get get into the songs, but not that much. Like for example, Ray of Light is it's uh, it's not really like any metal song, but it's 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 really really catchy song, and it, it's got a great elements in there and great mood going on, and and even from from hardcore metal people, I've, I've received the feedback that they really, really like the song. How would you describe the music of Silver Lake? Would you would you be able to place it in a genre? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, not really. There, there, there is yeah, so much. That's different. what I was. <laughs> yeah. You know, there there is so much different. Uh, musical influences and the songs are so diverse uh, that it, I think it would be pretty impossible just to lock it in one zone. But um, but it, it is a good like a map inside of me, the musical map. It really includes all the the influences, what I like about the music and what kind of music I, I like to listen to. So, um, and I'm really, really happy that it, it, it turned out this way that it, it, it is a very, very diverse album. So there's at least there is something for somebody, I guess. I'd like to thank you very much for your time. I hope all the best. And thank you. Having listened to the album, I think that there is no person who likes music, let alone love music, that won't fall in love with what you've done. The sentiment. Oh. The melodies, it's it's so, I don't know, transforming. Oh, thank you, Helena. Thank you so much.